Young blood. Good morning. I've been awake for a little bit, but I was catching up on the Grammy Awards. Um, our girl Miley won too. I'm so happy. Happy Grand Miley Day. Um, she, I know she doesn't care. I know she doesn't care, but I wanted her to win because it's about time. She's been doing this for so long. Congrats, Miley, if you're watching. But welcome to a new vlog. I, hold on. So much better. Um, welcome to a new vlog. So I was going through my vlogs yesterday because I now when I publish a vlog, I don't look at it anymore. Um, I don't check like the views and the likes and this and that. I used to do that a lot, but I'm just like, girl, chill. What do you, what do you want? What are you doing this for? And I generally am doing this for funsies. Like I love watching vlogs so much. I love talking, as you can tell. I love editing. I love creating thumbnails, like I love the whole thing. So um, I don't look at the analytics and stuff anymore. I only do sometimes. And yesterday, last night, I was checking out my vlogs and I realized that I don't like it when I don't introduce it. I don't like it when I am not talking at first and then going into it. Like the last two vlogs of mine, I don't know. I like the Hata one because I was with my friends. I was showing up more of my personality and my friends and laughs and whatever. But I didn't introduce anything. And then the one before that, I was filming on like the front camera. Man, the quality was so bad. Like I was really excited about that vlog because I was doing like such like work focused content. But the quality was so trash. And I vlogged from my phone. Uh, I vlog from an iPhone 14 Pro, um, but I need to get a camera. I'm gonna get myself a vlog camera if I hit a thousand subscribers, but I'm starting to think I'm gonna add it to my birthday wish list. So family, hey, I know you're watching. Vlog camera, please. Not the Canon one that is being advertised a lot, please, because the quality is not too fabulous talk to me okay i think i think i'm gonna request a vlog camera for my birthday skincare it's been a while since i've vlogged in the bathroom because i felt like i was showing it too much and i was doing the same thing it was very repetitive but i just want to show you a quick updated skincare i'm not gonna do it i'm just gonna show you okay hold on face wash asap then i use the glow tonic toner if i'm going out if i'm not going out i use the laneige tonic Tonic toner. Oh my god. I'm very disappointed at Laneige because I found out it's not cruelty free. They still test on animals and like it's 2024. You don't need to test on animals. I used to be a huge fan of Bath and Body Works. I love Bath and Body Works. Stopped. Why? Animal cruelty, man. Come on. What are you doing? During the day, I also use hyaluronic acid. Niacinamide and I started using the glow recipe firming serum. I also don't know if any of these other ones Test on animals. It's just the Laneige one. I saw it recently. I'm now using the ultralight daily UV defense SPF by Kiehl's. I had a Moment the other day. I had a moment of like um, I think a lot of people may go through when they're about to turn Girl, I'm turning 30 in March. But I had a moment the other day where I started freaking out. I was like, oh my God, is my skin aging? I definitely know that my cheeks used to be bigger. I had proper cheeks. Um, and I feel like my laugh lines weren't so laugh liney. But like, I've been laughing. You know, I've been laughing. Uh, I'm thankful for this life. I've been laughing a lot. So obviously I'm gonna get laugh lines. But that's it. It was literally just this that like, creeped me out and like the fact that my cheeks were gone. Also, I don't know if you can see this. I somehow bruised my forehead using my gua sha and I wasn't even going hard. But I think I hurt myself. It doesn't hurt. It's just, just it was instantly bruised. But anyway, this was a crazy long intro. Welcome to a new vlog. Uh, if you don't know me, if you're new, my name is Camellia. I'm uh, trying to vlog. I vlog every single Thursday. I live in Dubai. 
and I pretty much just show what I'm doing, man. I work, I go to events, I hang out with my friends, things like that, that type of vlog. So if you're into that, you know, and I talk a lot as you can tell. How do people look cute in these? Um, I want to be that girl, but it's just <laughs> taking over my entire head. It's a no for me, but maybe one day. I've had this bucket hat forever, actually. Um, I've never been able to wear it out because it just looks crazy. I'm gonna go get Yasmin. We're gonna go grab matcha. And then come back and work from my house. Uh, the top is skims. The bottom, no idea. The bottom shoes, no idea. They're not um, Birkenstocks, they're like dupes and yeah let's let's make my bed let's go get my bestie and come back also i did my nails yesterday let's go i got my loyalty card so yesterday i for this car is she's vintage okay let me just put that out there i know she's like rusty dusty and all of that but one it's not my car two i don't have a car and um, three it's really old like this car is i don't know i think it's nine years old 15 years i don't know i'm making up shit yesterday i realized that this thing opens and i guess to do it in bits and sections <laughs> But I only realized yesterday that the sunroof opens and um, after I opened it, I thought I closed it. But now that I had a look, it was a little bit open and now I'm terrified that there's like a lizard. My neighborhood is so interesting. You always see really different people here. <coughs> we need to pull over. Do you guys... Okay, let me explain something. So um, in my culture, when you're leaving the house if you sneeze before leaving the house it's kind of like it's not i don't know if it's bad luck but it's kind of like a warning that like something bad could happen so then you have to hold on wait a few seconds don't drive off yet don't leave yet after you sneeze hold on and then you dip um yeah every culture has their like weird things this is one of them um so i'm just gonna hold on for a few seconds Okay, it's fine. Let's listen to the radio, guys. Oh my god. Where, where is the radio? Okay. So Mari and I were talking about this the other day. And Gwen Stefani is really that bitch. She has literally done every genre every single genre and they were all so good every she did pop it sounded fabulous she yodeled she yodeled for a song and it sounded fabulous she did rock she did a little bit of like hip-hop inspired and she's done everything and they all sounded so good no one has done that i don't think there's anyone who's really, literally tapped into every single genre and did it really well so gwen stefani Go. She's so underrated. But where is Gwen Stefani? Hmm. I just tried to clean the window and I forgot the sunroof is open and the water came inside. Gosh. Yeah. Guys, my energy. Oh my god, I can't explain it. I woke up. Oh, this construction. I went to sleep so late last night, but literally, if you put a treadmill in my room last night at 3 a.m., I would run it. I was tossing and turning for ages. I had my alarm for 8 o'clock, and I woke up just fine. I just wanted to let you know that I slept well, very well. So, good for me. Good for me. Also, I am that girl that, like, drives squinting like this because of the sun, and my glasses are, like, on my head. Why? I don't know. Wow, it's the first time we're leaving and we're not both just green green. So I got the Blame It on Dubai. It's dragon fruit. Do you see my sexy 
it's what? like i'm spitting no <laughs> you care no. oh okay so it's what was it um dragon fruit mango strawberry strawberries and then you got oat milk latte oat milk latte cheers taste test <laughs> mm. <laughs> hold on i've had her before so i love her it's nice it's just like really it was very sour for that moment, but it's good. It's nice. Can you but... taste the apple juice? Mm. Oh, yeah. See? It's Ooh. nice, though. It's fresh, but it, it was sour on my glands. Yeah. But you know what? But nice. It's refreshing. Yeah. I like, morning I like the car's not on. Yeah, but I was like... <laughs> <laughs> I was going to get this, but they don't have decaf. And if I have caffeine, I will die. <laughs> Look how this opens. You can't open all the way. Oh, they know. Earlier, I had to go like. Ch -ch -ch. Oh, cute. Do you want to connect your phone because I'm <laughs> vlogging from yeah, here? Yeah, of course. Play some tunes. I have no music. Yeah, I tried to listen to the radio. It didn't work. Cool. I want to get one for my mommy. <gasps> Should we? I really want to. Okay, let's do it. Okay. <laughs> one second. <laughs> you can wait. I'll do it fast. Talk to me. Oh, sure. <laughs> let's go through all the grammy posts on e-news because we haven't seen the grammys because we just woke up so miley looked fabulous she said quote i don't think i forgot anyone but i might have forgotten underwear classic miley hey, hey. <laughs> you guys hey. how do we feel about dua lipa's new music it's is it new you know yeah you know like it's like recycled i think um but i love her she did future but. nostalgia and it worked for her and she's sticking to it and i want something different totally that's my review no way oh. oh i didn't know beyonce was there also blue ivy is literally their daughter victoria monet hey, hey. No. <laughs> we have billy cute um, I don't know how I feel about the red and black Personally, I think I'm over the two-tone Hair Jay-Z calls out Grammy Awards for snubbing Beyonce Dramatic Because I missed her mm. Anything that I make at home Just, just isn't, the same. isn't the same I know Is it because of the cups? Is it because of the plastic and the straws? And like, what is it? I don't know, man Maybe in the summer I'll chop it off I'm so excited for someone to be angry. Yeah, she's angry. Who wants to go? Okay. <laughs> this is a quick outfit. I'm going for a cute little walk with my friends. My shoes are New Balance. My jeans, don't remember. Uh, this is Tommy, and that's Big Sean's merch. And yeah, let's go. It's so windy, bro. Oh my god, I'm actually about to fall. Guys, what if I. Let's go, nothing, nothing. We love content for your vlog, it'll be fun. Yeah, you love what they talk about. Give me the first. <laughs> go, go. Bro, you're wasting my uh, my time. I've never Try been on one. Yeah, there you go. Ramen fever. event with Celine. It's just like a quick walkthrough of ugh, one of their collections. And Yasmin is picking me up. We're gonna go because it's in this place called Sarkal where there's cafes, there's galleries, there's, this, there's different places where you can sit and chill. So I'm gonna go there to the event quickly and then come out and then Yasmin and I are gonna find some cafe to sit and work at. I just need to pack my laptop and my charger. But that's it. I should also... <laughs> hey 
here's my outfit the top is i think oh this is h&m i got it um last year jeans no idea and then shoes are basic bands and for glasses it's these gentle monster ones it's called what is it called gelati and i forgot this is my jacket for later i think this is considered my everyday makeup i put a little 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 bit of concealer under my eyes i put a little bit of bronzer a bit of blush and then lip tint and that's it i don't put like mascara and stuff on a daily because i don't want to lose them so let's go to sir cal avenue <laughs> Taking a juice break, an iced tea break. Ooh. I'm so excited. Okay. From Project Taiwan. It's actually, yeah. it's actually really nice. Are you recording? Yeah. Hey. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. That stitching is like it's not just, it's not where it's fabulous. supposed to be. You know <laughs> We've migrated. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Welcome to Tasha's Bar Shop. Tasha. <laughs> Next food location, next friend. <laughs> so I'm wrapping up the vlog. I am editing it right now to go up tomorrow, but I forgot that I didn't do an intro. But thank you so much for watching. Also, I interviewed my favorite punk artist slash one of my favorite artists in general, Young Blood. Um, it's a crazy sentence to even say. And I had the honor and privilege of interviewing Dominic um, last week and the article went up and he reposted it on his story last night but um yeah i'm just really excited i'm a massive massive fan of his i've been a fan since like 2017 2018 and um i'm just excited that he was so kind and so fun to talk to and such a chill dude overall so um if you want to check it out it's in the link in dis the description you can check out the article um i worked really hard on it because I really like him and uh, yeah, so check it out. But in general for the vlog, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, like, comment and all of that. And isn't this sky so pretty? So please subscribe, like, comment, click the bell so you get notified when I post a new vlog every single Thursday. So I'll see you next week and that's it. Bye.